And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Darius. Going to be our first deck today. Uh, this will be um, a deck that that was uh, one that we took a lot of time to build, honestly. Uh, we just built it here on stream where we wanted to, to try to build the best Yasuo deck that we can. Now, Yasuo is not doing very well, of course, and um, I think a lot of the ways that people build Yasuo decks are control decks, really focusing on the stun and recall and stuff like that. What we're going to do is we're going to take it a different way because we're thinking, okay, because I think the biggest question that I have whenever playing a Yasuo deck is, you know, first question, how do you win when you don't have Yasuo? Like, how are you actually defeating the other tier one decks when you don't have Yasuo? And so that's that's a question that I just don't think that like your Yasuo Leona decks are answering very well, or even like your your Swain Leviathan decks. Like sometimes you can get your Leviathan Swain combos and win like that, um, but that's still not like that easy to set up and everything like that. And and those decks just don't have enough card draw um, and and uh, defense and just all that kind of thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be playing it very aggressively. So we can I think we can still put together wins without. Yasuo by attacking a lot and if you think about it stun just in general I think stuns a lot better aggressive keyword than control keyword because if you're playing a slow control deck and just stunning things all you're doing is delaying the inevitable of you losing the game up by the units because you're not actually you know trading with anything but if you're playing a nice aggressive deck that that's attacking for a whole lot you know you can have just the tempo of a couple of stuns and throw them off and still win the race and as long as you can be aggressive enough so i think that's what we're going to do we're going to try using stun with um being an aggro deck and i think that could make that could improve the power of something like intimidating roar right like if you're a control deck and you're just playing intimidating roar as a uh fog effect of just hey you just stop attacking for this turn that's not going to be very good because then they're just going to attack again the next turn right like it's, that doesn't really help you but if you use Intimidating Roar as a, you can't block and I'm going to hit you with all of these big aggressive things, I think that could be a much more powerful effect of a way to get a bunch of damage in. So we're going to try that. Um, we're also going to have uh, some Fey Guides in here to grant allies elusive. Since we're going to be aggressive, we're going to have Kato the Arm giving things overwhelm. Um, and then, of course, Darius finishing it up and maybe Darius plus Apprehend. We have a card like Fae Blade Twirler that can grow. You know, maybe it'll be a 3-3 or a 5-3 or a 7-3. That kind of card could be amazing with Fae, you know, giving that elusive. Um, and, of course, Kato also giving that plus 3, plus 0 and Overwhelm. You know, if it's a 7-3, now it's a 10-3 Quick Attack Overwhelm. That's pretty amazing. Um, even Yasuo, like, like that's the thing, Yasuo is a 4-4 quick attack for 4. Like that's a really good aggressive body. And so that's what we're, we're going to be going with. You know, following up Yasuo with Kato the Arm. Now you have a 7-4 quick attack with Overwhelm. You just can't block that. And that's that's going to be a lot of damage coming through. So I think that could be um, a really good pairing. So that's the, the challenge is to build a very competitive Yasuo deck. This is what we're going to try. This is going to be our first games trying it out. Um, I think the Culling Strike is probably better than Ravenous Flock. I'm playing I'm playing Culling Strike over Ravenous Flock. I, I was pretty close on which one of those to play. We have a Might in here to go along with those Quick Attacks, get some surprise damage in. Also, you know, also with like Kato, um, and then we have like a Transfusion for a good uh, like protection spell during combat. Nice little combat tricks. So we got you know a couple little tricks here and there. All right, so let's let's give it a try. We're gonna go play our five games over in ranked. Yeah, and if we go three and two. Hey, we got a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much for that support there, Ebony Darkness. Um, that's our first sub of the day. I guess I had the two out of five up from yesterday. We got we got to two yesterday. We're at one today. Okay, so I have nothing on turn two. All right, Spooky Karma means we definitely do not need Intimidating Roar. And honestly, we probably don't really need Fey Guide against... Spooky Karma. Let's look for things that can do a little bit more damage. So, you know, I said I said we definitely do not need Intimidating Roar, and so that's the first card that we draw right back. That makes sense. Taste purple. 
sleep is for the guilt. They can attack and gain four. Of course, I can block. But they only have two health to heal from their nexus anyway. I guess I'm going to Culling Strike this thing. Kind of gave them some opportunity to play something else. Yeah, like maybe they would have played another thing and I would have Intimidating Roared away two things. Um, Intimidating Roar can, can kill Karma though. Or, you know, like, a, I guess not necessarily kill, but could be good against Karma and good against, like, Rekindler bringing Karma back. deny is a leaf's only purpose to fall that's a very well drawn deny all right if I deny this I guess I deny this yeah just too much damage that we're attacking in with them only having three mana like they have to have vile feast here or they're dead and of course therefore they have vile feast See, our one our one ups are doing good. Our one ups and I did some work. Our one of transfusion doing some work. One ups are good and very underrated. I'm gonna pump up the Kato that has more health. It's harder to kill that one. There we go, GG's. All right, we are one and O oh with Yasuo Darius. I will regain my honor. All right, playing against some spooky Swain, Spider Swain. Really more like it. They're going to be pretty aggressive. This this could be a good intimidating roar Yasuo matchup. We're going to mulligan the the uh, might and deny, and there we go. Use our Vladimir emote. A <laughs> level 3 magic card. That's a cool name. Because, like, especially these kind of spells. One ofs with these kind of spells are just so important because you just don't need deny against everything, as you see here. Like, you know, Mulligan deny. We don't. We just don't need three denies. We don't need. Um. You know, card like Transfusion, we're not going to need that, like, all the time. We don't need tons of them. Just, you know, sometimes a Transfusion can be really useful, as we saw that last game. But it's not something that I need to worry about that much. Sure about that? I don't know if they're going to try to... They want to do just, like, this plus Vile Feast, maybe? And, of course, I want to wait for Arachnoid Sentry until after Yasuo. in the shadow. Or they just have another... No, they didn't have another Elise. I was thinking maybe they had another Elise and they had the Elise spell. Sleep is for the guiltless. I could see that uh, one of Transfusion being a one of Twin Disciplines instead. Similar, you know, very similar kind of card. The Transfusion's like protection while pumping. Like you get to do both. You get to protect and pump. At the cost of one damage, where Twin Disciplines, you you just get better protection, but you don't get the pump. With us being an aggressive deck, maybe that's better. Ah, such pretty poison. 
So of course I want to set up Intimidating Roar, that's what I want to do. Yeah, I hope no Ravenous Flock. I don't... Yeah, like they're... I guess they're playing Swain, so yeah, they're definitely playing Ravenous Flock. You won't suffer long. So like here's a, a spot where twin di twin disciplines would be better than transfusion. I'm gonna have to kill my own three one to protect. Oh no, never mind. They just got a lot of glimps beyonds in hand. Well, that's worse for me, especially for leveling up Yasuo. And now they have two more cards in hand than I do. We're looking at six mana next turn. So I could play Fey Guide, Precious Pep, Legion Saboteur. Or, you know, Fey Guide, Hold Up Transfusion. What are they doing? Like, if I go Fey Guide and then they play, like, Swain. I know Kato does more damage. I could just take the 10 and, you know, just attack for 10 and just take that. At any cost. Maybe I just do that. Okay. You will only get six in. Follow the wind, but watch your back. I'm gonna play you. I'm gonna not play you. I can see them playing Withering Whale with playing Swain. Won't get blown out too hard by that, by, you know, getting another one drop in yet. Um, you know, see what they got first. Alright, uh, yeah, so we'll transfusion here. I will do the damage to, I guess it's to the, I guess it's to that thing. I can see them, like, being able to Scorch Earth my Kato now, and I don't really want that to happen. Yeah, basically, I was worried about I was worried about Withering Whale as far as going on the three two, and yeah, obviously, I you know I completely regret not going on the three two now. For how that played out. Those glimpse beyonds are, were really good. All right, we do need to stop drawing our one drops though. We are only playing five one drops. Because, yeah, we don't want to draw just a bunch of one-drops in the late game like this. This would be a great time to draw Captain Farron. Order, sir. Bring uh. forth our army. Keep your head down, okay? Saboteur does one less damage than Yasuo. But it, does, it won't start getting stunned like Yasuo. I mean... I assume this is over from here, that, that ravenous block, you know, that last triple ravenous block turn was a killer. <laughs> Alright, we'll just only draw one mana card. Alright, GG's. The difference in that game was 
Blimps Beyond versus us drawing one mana two ones for the last three turns. Or whatever. Okay, so we're going to have uh, Legion Saboteur, Blade Twirler, Grenadier, against all Shadow Isles. I kind of want to keep both Blade Twirlers. That real quick. <laughs> so the new patch just got previewed. And see so, so we will go over that. Um after this recording. Very good Vile Feast. I think I may need to use the Intimidating Roar right now. Obviously, wish I'd have the Blade Twirler in play first. And this is an awesome hand for them. Turn two, Mistrate. Turn three, Mistrate plus the Vile Feast, and then four for Wraith Caller. Pretty good. I wouldn't mind finding a Daria so we can turn this Apprehend into a Rally. <laughs> and then they just have Grasp the Undying? Wow. It's just what's what's the perfect card in Shadow Isles? Okay, we got that. I would not want to be here. I guess I'll deny this. Obviously Shadow Isles has some much better targets to deny with like harrowing and ruination and vengeance and all that kind of stuff, but I guess we're gonna deny him. Glimpse Beyond looking good. Hmm. We haven't seen a Darius yet. We are playing three of them. We haven't seen one yet. As far as Apprehend is concerned. I understand patch notes are out. I'm not looking at them yet. We're going to be after I play Yasuo Darius, then I'll record a, a patch notes thing. So basically I'm doing this to turn these Blade Twillers into 3 threes, Because one, one threes just aren't going to be good enough. Man, they have the third Glimpse Beyond? We are just getting wrecked by Glimpse Beyond these last two games. Yeah, you know, they just drew six cards off Glimpse Beyond. You know, that's, that's this whole hand. This is not going to do it with these 1-3s. These So obviously I just got to do that. You know, I'd love to play Captain Farron, but we just have to do this. Want to see these moves up close? Ah! And that grass the undying they had too on turn five.
All right, next game. They had everything that you could possibly want. All right, playing against some ramp. Let's see if we can go underneath them. Okay. I'm gonna definitely hope no avalanche. <laughs> right? Like we're we got real aggressive hand here with all these one drops. The good news with having all these one drops is it's not likely that we draw one drops in the late game now. There's only five one drops in our deck. This is three of them. I am thinking that it's possible, you know, like they see Yasuo, they think it's like control and they don't keep early removal in their hand. That's that's something that I definitely considered as, as a possibility and something that, that was another reason why I really liked uh, keeping this because maybe, you know, maybe they, mul like I could see them mulliganing Avalanche from their opener. And that's, that's definitely possible that they did that. Thinking that it's a Yasuo deck and basically everybody else plays Yasuo as a control deck and they don't play Yasuo with all these one drops. Now we got like deny back up. Glad to see you. Hope everything's going good. Oh, that's a big deny right there. That withering whale would have been great. Deny has looked really good for us, but we basically because we've been playing against Shadow Owls, right? Shadow Owls is, is the region that Deny is the best against. And we have faced uh, basically all Shadow Owls decks. have another Withering Whale. Damn it. So why'd they give the GG thing when they just had another Withering Whale? They got to do that. I don't know. Ballista. Which I wouldn't go, want to go Sentry Ballista anyway. I'll just pass. These are trolls! I guess I should have done it on the 3 2. This is just like the this is just the tough part, you know, like obviously I, I want to play these things first, but with Ruination, it's really difficult to play those things first. Okay, finally a Darius. Um, we have nine mana, right? Okay, good. So I can do this, and I can still have Darius Apprehend available. Perfect. Perfect. GG's. My axe is ready. Alright, get that rally in. And there we go. Alright, two and two. That was a good win. Against a really good tier one deck that had a really good hand, uh, especially after turn three. Good win. Jeez. All right, Trundle Swain. Fun. We got a couple of five mana champions. We got a four and a six. 
Average out to be about the same. Culling Strike is great against Swain. I meant to keep that. Let's keep let's keep the uh, Grenadier and the Culling Strike. And let's go from here. Start. Are they a Catalyst of Aeons deck? No, nope, they just wanted to heal their Nexus for three. They could have also blocked, which would have healed their Nexus for three. Alright, Culling Strike's gonna be good against that thing. We're gonna have six mana next turn. Not enough for Blade Twirler Intimidating Roar, unfortunately. Ah, oh, man, I can't even go. Yeah, I can't. Oh, no, no. Okay, so I could go Sentry Culling Strike. Okay, we could do that. Maybe that's what I should do Sentry Culling Strike. Or I could go Blade Twirler Sentry slash Blade Twirler Culling Strike. I should probably do these two together. Um. Because I think they're going to go Trundle. That's my that's my guess, is they play Trundle. And so I'm going to Culling Strike this thing. They play Trundle. I stun Trundle. And then attack. Right, like, I, so I don't really need to stun that thing. Ah. All right, that would have been better. It would have been better to Culling Strike the Swain. But, oh well. It's a 3-5 has regeneration. Swain doesn't have regeneration, so we can continue to hit Swain like that. I like this Yasuo aggro, though. This is working out well. So they're opening up, you know, Ravenous Flock and things like that. Just pass to them. See if they want to go to my turn. It's a pretty good card. I leveled up Swain by itself. So I could have played Concussive Palm that would have just killed Swain immediately. I'm gonna play Darius instead. I'll handle this myself. Strength above all. Yeah, let's do that. Know your place. That's not a frostbite card. All right, GGS. We we're gonna be able to use Concussive Palm to stun the blocker. Alright, so my plan was to be able to like stun their blocker with Concussive Palm and uh, you know then if they did not frostbite the Darius, we'd be able to apprehend, or maybe even if they did, you know, maybe I'll just play like Yasuo apprehend. That kind of stuff. So we had a lot of good options there, even with going straight to attacks, even if they would have frostbitten. So I like this, you know, like, you know, we had three and two in ranked. That's a good record, you know, like that's winning 60% of the games. And uh, we played against some good opponents. They they had some good stuff. Um, so yeah, I think our, our deck was pretty impressive. It's not easy to build a Yasuo deck that's going to have a winning record. And we've seen that with just uh, kind of looking at like the Mobilitics results for Yasuo decks. You know, like we went through and we didn't see any that had winning records. But uh, I think this could be a good way to play Yasuo. Just be aggressive get ahead early and just try to finish the game you know like we finally found Darius the last two games and Darius was awesome at closing out games we have the Captain Farron to close out games um you know the Fey Guide uh didn't get to do anything cool really with the Fey Guide but I, I like I still like this card quite a bit 
Um, our one of deny was great because we played against Shadow Owls all the time. If you were going to just continue to play against more Shadow Owls, you'd want more deny. Like you'd probably like, take out the might, play another deny, for example. But um, so there we go. That's Yasuo Darius. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.